perfect. Okay, uh, thank, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Joe Bollet, I'm contributor to Wasabi Wallet, which is a privacy first project. And I uh, will talk about the issues of Bitcoin privacy and how to specifically open a lightning channel within the coin join in order to, to try to, to improve uh, privacy of all participants to the, to the channel against any entity uh, or, or, or the blockchain. So uh, I, I have a quick introduction of BC privacy problem, but I don't know your, your level of insight of, uh, of, of the matter. Uh, is, do everyone know what are Bitcoin privacy issues? Oh. So someone wants to try to, to explain quickly? Uh, maybe, yeah, go on. So if anyone knows, if, like if you use a Bitcoin address and you uh, use it to buy a product from Amazon, Amazon can now check your prior history and your future history with that address and thus expose us. It's, uh, that's one of the key privacy concerns. Really nice explanation. So the link between the source of funds and the destination of funds. When you receive a, a, a coin, the entity that sends it to you obviously know uh, know this coin. So it's not a big issue. But what is the issue is not really receiving, is spending. Because this uh, here, Alice, she received two coins, one from Binance, one from Bob. And there is nothing that links this coin between together. Uh, you, you can't know that. Oh, but by, by the way, I made a repeat uh, article version of my talk. So if anyone prefers to read, you can just open the repeat and check the, uh, 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 and check the tutorial. OK. So in my example, I received two coins, one from Binance, one from Bob. And nobody can know the relation between these coins. Uh, that's because if they didn't reuse an address, this is a really important concept in Bitcoin privacy, you shouldn't reuse an address. But the, the address, they are only linked between together with something called the XPub, which is a, a key that is used to derive all, all the addresses of your wallet. But if you don't link, don't link this information, nobody on chain will be able to know the, uh, the link between your coins. So these coins are not linked. But now, when she spends it, so she wants to pay Zoe for 1.5 Bitcoin, on chain there will be this consolidation, this link that will be made between these two entities, and the, the receiver, but also every observer of the chain, will be able to, to know that Alice received not one, but now two coins, and that they are from these different entities, and that, they sent it to, uh, that she sent it to, to, to Zoe. So consolidation is really a big enemy of privacy uh, because of that, because you are basically linking your input together and everybody will know, will now know that Alice is at two, two coins. So on chain it looks like this. This is a consolidation. So Alice, this is all, these are all in, uh, inputs from uh, Alice. And she sent to Zoe. And now all these, uh, all these coins and all these entities that sent this coin are linked in the eye of everyone. So it's something we really want to, to, to avoid. Huh? It, it applies to fiat. I think nobody will be happy uh, that everyone can, can see how you are using your phones, uh, even if you don't have anything to hide. And there is something even more tricky uh, in uh, regarding blockchain privacy, uh, Bitcoin privacy, is the change. So the change is the unspent amount from a uh, transaction. So here, for example, if Alice has uh, in my previous example, the change will be 0 0.5 Bitcoin, this one, because the Bitcoin always sends all your money and then it gives you back the change. So, how is she 0 0.5 on the blockchain? Is this? It's little, little, little. And then at least she might want to use it again in a new transaction, but w what happens if she, if she does that? She uses the change in a new transaction, so she consolidates the change again with other inputs. And now, instead of having just one transaction link, so all these uh, coins linked between themselves, now she has this transaction plus this transaction. So again here, all the entities in the red squares are linked between together in the eyes of everyone. So really the three enemies of privacy are the link between the source of funds and the destination, which are caused in BTC by the consolidation and the change. Uh, in order to, to try to solve this issue, a really common technique are coin join. 
uh, coin join multi-party transactions. Uh, do everyone know what is coin join? Okay, so I will go. Uh, I will go quickly. So someone wants to to explain? Yes. Um, multiple parties have inputs to the same transaction, and then the outputs are either all the same or clusters of similar output values, which then breaks the link between which output and which input were related. So for example, if I put in a one Bitcoin into a large Wabi Sabi transaction, I may end up with a 0.5 output, a 0.2, a 0.2.5, uh, you know, multiple different outputs that are all clustered with similarly valued or identically valued outputs. Okay, good explanation, thanks. Uh, so I will pre I will quickly go through how it, uh, uh, how it looks. So Alice has a wallet uh, with three coins. She wants to spend the, these coins in a private manner. And to do that, she has, she has to... Uh, she has to, to uh, synchronize with other participants, so in this case Bob, Lore, and lots of other people. Uh, that will uh, uh, together work uh, to try to build a transaction. All of them together, they will spend their coins and then receive the same amount that they spent uh, to themselves. And by doing so, it's like we all have uh, like one dollar bill. We put it into a pool, and then we all uh, give uh, take one dollar back. Well, any observer, he won't be able to, to trust uh, your phone that way because there, he won't be able to know which output you received. And so this is how it looks. Uh, Alice, she registered three coins, one to three. It's really important that it, it's uh, one by one, uh, so nobody can make the link uh, be between them. The other entity registers their coins. Then there, are, there is some crypto, cryptographic magic. Uh, so the, the, it's, Keyed uh, amount verification uh, and uh, homomorphic uh, signatures. So some cryptographic magic in order to do all this in a trustless way and in a zero knowledge way. So it's really important that nobody can know uh, the link between this coin, no, not a single entity. And then in the output side, when the crypto magic uh, happens, everyone receives back exactly the same amount of money that they sent because they obviously don't want to, to lose money and not more. It's really important to be sure that nobody will be able to steal any money. And uh, it receives a new denomination. So you've seen first 1, 2, 3, and now 1.5, 1.1, 1.5, 0.1, 0.1. And uh, this is made to break, as we explained, a deterministic link. Uh, here we can see a, a, a difference between Wabi Sabi, which is a protocol that wa was created last year by uh, some researcher, a researcher that was a Wasabi team, uh, which is an improvement, a new iteration of an old protocol that was ex existing named Zero Link. And uh, the main difference is that uh, Wabi Sabi allow, allows a different denomination as output. Uh, he, he said that uh, to be sure to be to break the deterministic link, we have to have all, all the output of the same value uh, to have some kind of uniformity. But with uh, but uh, with Wabi Sabi, there can be consolidation uh, between your your transaction. So new multiple inputs can be used to create the same output. So if you have an input of one and uh, and, uh, and two. Oh, they will be used together to create this 1.5 output. And so it makes it super difficult, even if, um, if a coin is alone, it's the only one of this denomination, it will be super difficult for any observer to make the link uh, be between, be between them because it can be any combination of uh, smaller values, but also a larger value that has been broken down into, uh, into this uh, output. So this is how it looks on chain. I'm sure nobody can see anything, but <laughs> uh, so basically a lot of lot of people uh, in uh, WebSB works best when there are a lot of participants. So um, the threshold that we have currently is 100 and in our implementation is 150 inputs. Uh, but usually we like to have 200, 250 different persons. 
uh, this is to make a, a lot of possible combination, uh, a lot of possible combination between the coins. Uh, so here you can see that, for example, there are 10 outputs of 1.29 uh, bitcoins because clients they try to coordinate between themselves to use the same rule to decide which uh, uh, amount they will um, they will receive back. So that they try to, to use the same rule in order to end up with all uh, with as much as possible the same denomination as output. Uh, but uh, here there are also some uh, values, there are some outputs that are unique. So these ones are unique outputs. For example, this one is an output of one bitcoin flat, and it's the only one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this one Bitcoin output, even if it's unique, well, it can be any combination of bigger, uh, of, uh, it can be a big, big value that has been broken down into this one plus other ones, but it can also be any combination of smaller inputs that have been merged together to create this one Bitcoin output. So in this example, even if it's the only one, well, it could be from this one, it could be from this one, it could be from this one plus this one and we don't know. And that is why it creates a tremendous amount of, uh, of combinations of possibilities and that's why even if an output is unique, it's still, uh, it's still gaining some, so, so, some privacy uh, out, out of it. Uh, please note that this effect uh, in, in, uh, is reduced for huge, uh, unique outputs for so example, this, this one, which is a 10 Bitcoin output, the, this effect of combination, possible combination is much reduced for it because there are not many uh, combination of inputs that would end up to this output. You see, to have a 10 Bitcoin output, you will need either this one, this one, this one, which are higher than 10, or any combination of this one, but you need 8, 8 of them because they are 1.3 Bitcoin, and that's that really it. So there are not as many as combination as for small, uh, uh, smaller output. So it works best for small uh, am amount. And um, if there is a lonely way, so uh, an user that has a lot of Bitcoin, imagine in, in this transaction, someone just uh, register 100 Bitcoin when there won't be any combination possible to, to that will end up to that much of money. So, Okay, you can't do it again. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Okay, is it, is it okay, the sound? Thanks. Uh, okay, so now how does this apply to lightning channel opening? Because it, 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 it depends. A channel opening in uh, Lightning is a, spend, a spending transaction, and so everything that I say that I say in the introduction, it still applies to Lightning channel opening. If you if you open the channel with three of your inputs, which are the same as my previous example, you found it with six Bitcoin. It will make the link between these two everybody on chain. So, in like on spending transaction, you will have the exact same issue uh, because you are making an on-chain transaction. But then, if you do it with private coins, so some coins that already went through uh, a coin join, okay, so first you do coin join, then you open the channel with these coins, the, the link will still happen in the blockchain, so it will still be possible to see that this entity has six Bitcoin, and uh, it's pro pro probable that it's the same entity. Uh, but it's not possible for any of them, Binance, Bob, and the Wizard, to know that Alice used uh, her coin to make the transaction. So on chain, we will still see the link between the coins, but we won't know where they are from. And the people they send them, uh, they won't know uh, what Alice will do with her coin either. So it's an improvement. It's still not the best. Uh, but it's an improvement. This is option one, it's easy, everybody can do it right now if you want. You just go through a coin join and then you open your channel and you will dramatically improve the privacy of your uh, Lightning network, of your Lightning channel. But then, what about opening a channel directly 
Sure coin join. Okay. Uh, because as you remember, the coin join, you just put some output that you want. Well, what if this output will be instead of a normal output, it will be um, a funding transaction. Uh, so uh, an output used to open a channel, a uh, lightning channel. Uh, let's go back one step and try to, to, to see the definition of a coin run. What is exactly a coin run? Well, it's a distributed task, because it's a multi-party transaction, several people together, that requires every participant to be online and reactive at the same time, because uh, in a coin join, if there are different phases every client has to do to perform the transaction, and if any of, of, of them fails just one request, it fails for everyone. So it's pretty hard to, to coordinate, to perform. But so they have to be reactive at the same time. They follow a protocol, in this case, Wabi Sabi, and then sign the transaction together, and all of this in the specified time frame. Exactly the same for Lightning. It's the same problem. Two nodes collaborate together, following a protocol. They sign a transaction within a specified time frame, which in the case of Lightning, by default, is 10 minutes. So because problems are the same, Hmm? It's, they can be easily merged. So, um, uh, sorry, I'm picking a lot and quite fast, but if you have any questions, please feel free to raise them or just interrupt me and it's, it, it, it will be okay. Uh, okay, so this is the timeline of the uh, coin join round. First, clients has, have to register their inputs, then they have to confirm them, to be sure that they are reactive and, and, and present. Then they will need to register the output that they want, uh, considering all the other participants. They will try to decompose in the best denominations, so they will register the output. Then they receive the finalized transaction, and everybody has to sign it. So they will sign their own input in the transaction. This is the timeline. And this is the timeline of opening a lightning channel. Uh, you have the funding node, the accepting node. First you have the negotiation, then you build the funding transaction, and then you have to build the commitment transaction and uh, broadcast the funding transaction at the end. So let's see how they blend together. First the coordinator he has to create the round, he sends it to the funding node, it's information to the funding node. The funding node receives it and says, oh, okay, there is a new round, I would like to open a, a channel within it. So she, she begins negotiation with the accepting node, open accept. At this point in time, there is 10 minutes to realize, to perform all the remaining operations until uh, broadcast. If not, it will fail. This is of uh, utmost importance in the context of CoinJoin. You will see later uh, the, the caveats. Then they perform the, the registration. So first they input, they confirm them. Then they register their output. And one of them has to be the funding transaction output. So. It's like a standard output, but it contains in the, it's paid to the script of the funding, uh, of the funding transaction payment, payment. Broadcasting, uh, coin, join, uh, coin join, including this output, will mean that the channel is open. This is, uh, this is our channel open. So, one of the outputs it will register is the funding transaction that they, they agreed on with the accepting node. Uh, once the coordinator received all this information, he can send the unsigned coin join to the funding node, so that will need to, to, to sign uh, its own inputs. Uh, so he will partially sign it, uh, uh, and then he, no, sorry, uh, first he will, uh, uh, receiving this information, this contains the PX ID, the transaction ID of the transaction, so everything that is needed to open uh, a channel, to, 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 to make the commitment transaction. So the funding node will build the commitment transaction, par partially sign it, and then send it to the accepting node that will see every, everything is okay. So it will uh, sign, sign the, remaining, the remaining part of it, send back to the funding node, and then the funding node knows that uh, it will be able to spend their, their, its coin afterwards. So, it knows it's okay to broadcast the funding output, and therefore, at this point in time, it's able to sign the, the coin join transaction. It's really important to wait to have the commitment transaction to, to, to sign the, the, the funding transaction because 
If you sign without the correct commitment, it will incur loss lose of funds. It's the same as, uh, as uh, lighting currently. So you have to wait to have the commitment to know that you will be able to get back your money before signing with the coin join. Once it's signed on your part, you send it back to the coordinator. Then the coordinator needs to wait and to receive the other signatures for the coin join. You have to receive signatures for, for everyone. And it will finally broadcast the, the coin join transaction, which includes the funding outputs, and therefore the, uh, the channel is open. So, as you can see, uh, now that, it's, uh, that there is, everything is pretty crowded, but there is no real difficulty. The, the two processes, they, they really blend together. The, the main difficulty is the time frame, as, as I said. I'm running out of time. Yes, so we'll go fast. Uh, there is already uh, an existing implementation, uh, which is the LN Vortex. Uh, it's using zero link. Actually, the creator is here at the conference. It's Ben Karman, and it's really a nice implementation. Uh, there are some caveats. For example, the rolling they have to be of the same amount, uh, the output. So it's it's pretty bad, uh, and it's also hard to uh, gather liquidity. Because you have to coin join the work the best when there are a lot of people, a big crowd. But so you have to, to find a lot of people interested into opening a lightning channel inside the coin join of the same amount. So uh, you, you need a lot of uh, aligned star for, for people to want to, to participate into your, your, your round. So it's hard for them to gather liquidity. Uh, so, what are the advantages of using Wabi Savvy instead of, uh, of the rolling? First, you can have a non-standard funding amount uh, while still gaining privacy. This is important because um, if you open the channel through uh, a conjoin, you won't be able to remix uh, later on. So uh, you have to gain a really good amount of privacy directly because usually if you don't gain enough privacy in one round, you take your output and you will register them again in the next round. But you won't be able to do that because you, you can't uh, uh, release an, out, an output from lightning channel, so uh, it's important to gain a lot of privacy directly. Then uh, several nodes can collaborate to move different channels, and uh, also we could begin negotiation at the output registration phase, so right here. We could, if we want, we could begin negotiation right here and it would be much... Uh, this time frame won't be such a, 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 such a problem. Uh, okay, uh, as well as using Wabi Sabi, so sorry, I'm going and trying to, to go fast. Uh, instead of uh, using Wabi Sabi, no, you can use Wabi Sabi and you can use uh, ZK Snacks Coordinator, so it's the service provided uh, by uh, Wasabi Wallet. Uh, and so you can open your lightning channel directly in using this coordinator. So for now it doesn't uh, handle it, but it will be pretty easy to implement. And, and uh, you, you could have a high liquidity, the backend is well maintained, and the, it's a zero knowledge implementation. This is just a zoom on dual funded channels in Wapisavi to just show that it doesn't change anything. Uh, if you have two nodes that are funding, well, they use a dual funded protocol in lightning, and then they partially send both of their uh, funding transaction, that they are part of the funding transaction, and the coordinator it will merge it at the end into one single uh, output. So fundamentally it's the same to uh, have dual funded channel and a single funded channel in, uh, in WebSay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes? You mentioned that there is no, uh, or <clears throat> a problem that may occur when trying to open a lightning channel. The output of a coin join is that you can't really guarantee the onset of that output. Yes. Is that true? Can you elaborate? Uh, yes, it, it's what you say is true. Uh, for example, in, in Samurai implementation of CoinJoin, which is which is competitor, you know exactly what will be your announcement at the end of a round, so it, it's fixed because everything is agreed upon. But on Wabi Sabi, you can only know that after the input confirmation phase, and uh, when you are in input confirmation phase, is that when you know the other uh, person and you are already committed to the transaction. So if you uh, he, if you don't want to participate, you have to break it for everyone. Right. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a problem in, uh, in, in Lightning, but usually it should be good, uh, good, good enough. Uh,